To configure Commander to work with VS Code, we'll want to make a few tweaks. These tweaks will take place in both the settings of Commander itself, and then we'll hop on over to VS Code and make some tweaks there as well. To get started, I'll go ahead and select the Settings tab found in the bottom corner, and I'll go ahead and select Settings. The first thing we want to do is configure how Commander hides and shows the terminal once it's open. By default, this is scoped to the hotkey of control backtick. However, this is the same hotkey which VS Code uses to open up its default terminal. My suggestion is that you change this to Windows backtick. In doing so, hide and show will be configured to the backtick now. Secondly, you may be wanting to change your color scheme. I went ahead and changed mine to Monokai. Once you're done there, go ahead and select Save Settings. Next up, I'll go ahead and open up the Settings panel, and I'll change how Commander starts up. This can be done by selecting Startup and under Startup, Tasks. By default, I'll be using Commander in a non-admin privilege setting. So I'll select Commander, which is my second option, and then I'll select Startup Directory. From here, I can browse to anywhere in my directory of where I would prefer Commander to start. Though you may be tempted to set up environment variables by clicking Environment found underneath Startup, I would advise against it. However, it will work by setting alias say hi equals, and then we'll just echo out hello. That will work once we go ahead and restart our terminal. However, this does conflict with how VS Code finds environment variables, so I won't be doing that here. Now that Commander has been set up with some reasonable defaults that I prefer, I'll go ahead and tweak VS Code so that instead of the default terminal, It'll use Commander instead. To do that, I'll go ahead and open up VS Code from the command line. This will open up a brand new instance of VS Code without any files selected. From here, I can go ahead and press Control P, and then I'll throw in a right angle bracket. My first option is to open up the settings. To get here, you can simply type in settings yourself, and this option should appear. Now that I'm here, I'll go ahead and paste in some defaults. These defaults can be found in the description of the video. In the most recent version of Commander, it knows how to work with VS Code. As such, it knows which application to open, how to get to it, and then it has sensible configuration settings so that it can initialize itself in VS Code. Once I save and open and close VS Code, I'll go ahead and test out my new terminal. So once I have a new instance of VS Code set up, I'll press the default hotkey of Control Backtick, and sure enough, it does find Commander.